Hello everybody. Today we're going to have a look at Arpeggionome Pro. So let's boot it up. There we go. And okay. So basically, if you're familiar with the other one, it plays arpeggios. What's different about this one? It is has all these buttons and things you can play with, and it's an excellent MIDI controller too. Still has the basic synth, so it doesn't really have many of its own sounds. Let's have a look. Well, let's turn that off, and let's have a look at what this is really brilliant at. So let's just shut that for a sec. Let's open. Okay. Right. Right, okay, so we'll use that. Open up our Peggio No Pro again. And go to settings, uh, MIDI output settings. This gives you loads of uh, stuff now. So we can see that sample whiz is on. We've turned off that synthesizer. So let's just close that. And uh, so now we have. Sample whiz being triggered by our Pedro Gnome. So let's have a mess with some of the bits and pieces. the gate, the tempo, pretty much everything. back to the app and then mess with that, which is really cool. Close sample whiz and let's open uh, McGallan. Let's see what happens here. Let's pick a lead sound. Okay. 
So, as you can see, nothing's coming through, so we need to make a few <clears throat> settings. Sample Wiz is now turned red, so that's turned off. Select Magellan from the sessions list. Okay. Still nothing, so it must be with Magellan. So let's have a look at this. Background audio needs to be selected on the app that you're using. Preferences, MIDI, MIDI, MIDI. Outputs. Right, okay, cool. So there's Arpeggio, no MIDI in. So, Arpeggio, no. Okay, so let's go back to Magellan, make that sound a little bit more percussive. And one. And let's see what happens if we, uh, <coughs> we add another one. Okay, cool. So, you can control any of your MIDI apps with this, which means that you can play any arpeggio, you can set up your own arpeggios, you can... Yeah, it's it's pretty versatile. Uh, I haven't tried using this with Audio Bus yet, but I will at some point. So if I could trigger an app that will work with Audio Bus, maybe we can get the arpeggio to run through Audio Bus as well, because it's coming through the app. Um, that's basically it. It's, it's very, very versatile. You can use... You can... I think you can save all your own bits and pieces. Um, it has all these different kind of presets. So let's see, we go running thirds. Now what you can also do if you want to is obviously switch between apps and you can you can blend in. Can't really hear that with that, so let's go back to the Magellan one. blend uh, between arpeggio gnomes, little synth sort of thing, but it's for basic square waves, and with um, 
your your app that's running in the background. Also, you can set up the to do this. I've got it switched off for this, but to quickly switch it on, and you'll, you can assign uh, acceler uh, the accelerometers. So let's assign that one to I don't know pitch bend, and let's assign this one to volume. Okay. So. But it's really versatile. You can assign lots of different pieces. So basically, that's it. You've got all these different things. You can select how many notes, the step distance, the style, the octaves, and the octave style. You have some presets here. So pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Millions of more options than the than the first one, and it's uh, it's really good fun as well. Okay, brilliant. Hope you found this useful.